Ted. Ted. DiBiase is waving a hip toss to the world champion. Side headlock. Over the hip goes the world heavyweight champion. Compliments of Ted DiBiase. Good wrestling by DiBias. Race scored with two flying tackles, but the third one was for naught. DiBias was waiting with the hip toss. Harley Race, the man who took the title from Terry Funk on February 6, 1977 in Toronto, Canada, using the Indian Deathlock, one of many maneuvers that Race has at his disposal, along with the suplex slam, the side saddle suplex, the pile driver, the atomic knee drop, the backbreaker. We've seen Race use them all, and it's that versatility which has played a major role in making Race the world heavyweight champion. Race. Trying to get behind DiBiase, looks like. Now, Race lifts DiBiase. Atomic knee drop. No, DiBiase blocked it. DiBiase blocked it. He got those feet down first. And DiBiase scores with the atomic knee drop. Try for a pin. Brown breaks it up. But DiBiase. Later in the match, win. Race and Brown tried to double team DBS the brilliant Ted DiBiase, but it backfired. Brown with a punch to the head. Race from outside the ring grabs DiBiase. Brown and Race double teaming DBS. The referee's chasing Orndorff back to his corner. Race strangling DBS from outside the ring. Brown grabs DBS by the hair and throws DBS through the ropes and out of the ring. Harley Race going outside after him. Orndorff comes over and keeps Race from getting a DBS. Now Race grabs DBS. He tries the pile driver on the concrete floor. He's trying to go. Look at DBS. DBS with a back body drop. Race and DiBiase stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The brilliant young star, Ted DiBiase, against the seasoned and experienced world champion, Harley Race. Race knocked backwards by DiBiase, who tags Orndorff. And Orndorff is fresh. He's after Race. Race whipped in the ground. Orndorff dropping Race. Orndorff after Brown. Give credit to DiBiase. He hung in there and he gives his man a chance. Orndorff catches Race coming off the ropes with a judo chop. DiBiase battering Brown. Knee drop by Orndorff to Race. He goes for the pin. A one, two. Race won't quit. He'll never stay down easy. This match is pure pride now. It's pure guts. It's pure courage. It has been a wide open brawl. Three minutes left, three minutes. Race, battering Orndorff. Race, going for the pile driver on Orndorff. Race, trying to lift him. Orndorff, balancing against it, blocking it. Holding the ankles, taking the weight, and dropping Race backwards. The second time the pile driver's been foiled today. That not as effective as when DiBiase did it, but it was effective. Brown using the knees across the side of Orndorff's head. Race yells instructions to Brown. Brown punches Orndorff in the face. What a battle this has been. Brown and Race against Orndorff and DiBiase. Orndorff fighting back against Brown. Brown staggered. Race reaches in for Orndorff. Gets him again. Here comes DiBiase into the ring as Orndorff is catapulted down by Harley Race. Brown standing on Orndorff's throat, walking across the windpipe. Orndorff drops Brown. Brown chopping on Orndorff's throat. Orndorff gets to DiBiase, and here comes Ted DiBiase. He's after Brown. Brown whipped across the ring and into the corner. Brown catapulted out and up and over by DiBiase. Brown pulls into DiBiase, tags Harley Race. Here comes Race. DiBiase doesn't know it, and Race is behind him. Race was behind DiBiase. DiBiase didn't know he was into the ring. Race going for the suplex. This could be... Oh, what a move by DiBiase! Back body drop, a giant suplex, a bridge!